Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn February 5, 2023. Today's moon stirs your desire for order, but a Sun Uranus square can be overstimulating. It's especially the case if you've been holding on to frustrations. Restrictive conditions are harder to tolerate with this transit, and those things you've suppressed or buried can surface, perhaps disruptively. Family relationships or home life can be a little tense or strained, or you're finding it hard to feel content with routine living. Seek new ways to enjoy yourself if things are feeling too stuffy or stifling, but also seriously consider what you may need to stay stimulated and engaged going forward. Drama is thundering through the heavens above today. This is because the mighty sun in your solar house of identity your zodiac sign will soon march into a field of landmines laid by a mischievous Uranus now wreaking havoc in your solar house of home, family, and domesticity. This ensures that major conflict could be right around the corner. You and a lover could hear shocking and terrible news about your residence or a family member or if you are going through a move or renovation, something falls through the cracks. Do your best to remain level-headed. What do you need in your work environment to be productive? It is time to make some changes to your workspace that fit your needs when the sun in your sign squares Uranus in Taurus. But this may not be easy since you are a fixed sign facing a fixed square, so there might be some unwillingness to stray from your comfort zone. However, once you begin implementing changes in your work environment, you may not be able to stop. Decorate, clean, and organize according to your needs to optimize your productivity. After a friendly aspect to Venus, the planet of money in your income sector yesterday, the moon is spending its final hours in your work sector at a friendly aspect to dreamy Neptune there today. This is wrapping up what has been some empowering days across the income, work and career fronts that is giving Venus quest to turn income desires into reality a boost. You might sense all that is wrong with the world, but others might not be as aware as you are this week. The planetary alignment today will surely cause some frustration, some feeling of inequality that is hard for you to reckon with. Don't take this out on your friends. To keep your mood steady, make sure there is plenty of vitamins A and C in your diet. Fresh fruits and vegetables keep our tempers mellow, and any excess energy is best taken care of by going to the gym, if possible. With the spirit of this day ruling you may find that it is easier for you to clearly express your needs and to be able to have them met. While you are successful at ensuring those around you are well taken care of, you sometimes find it hard to generate a balance in your own life. Try to discover creative ways of striking the balance within and around yourself. This will be of great benefit to your overall well-being. As the moon leaves your work sector today this will leave you with a download of information to unpack from across the income, work and career fronts. Included in this have been some reminders when it comes to knowing when to keep your work hat on and when to take it off, something that is part and parcel with these monthly visits. This is helping you to build up a picture of this new professional and financial year and of both your options and the cosmic conditions. The moon not only returns for its monthly visit to your relationship sector today but to begin the lead up to the only full moon here this year. This is the that full moon that will always fall at some point during your birthday month and it is key to understanding what you want from your relationships and what they need from you as you move into your new solar year. The difference this time is that you have Jupiter in your communication sector. Our eyes in the sky. The Sun in Aquarius squares off with Uranus in Taurus today. At this time, we are showing off our sentiments and uniqueness for the world to see. Today, we might want to take a walk on the wild side and let other people take notice of the parts of ourselves that we usually hide. You can now be totally open and carefree in how you represent yourself as you throw caution to the wind and live your life. Everything is not going as well as you hoped and as a result, the pressures and anxieties of life take their toll. This is mainly due to you trying considerably harder to counter your run of bad luck by being overly efficient. If you find this is the case relax, Accept sometimes what you're trying to achieve isn't possible and allow yourself a special treat instead. 
When trying to resolve outstanding issues, you must avoid reacting impulsively, and be prepared to encounter some difficulties. Don't be disappointed at this apparent block to your progress, but take full responsibility for any mistakes that result, otherwise, you create difficulties for everyone involved. If you wish to invest your savings in something new, now is the time to do it. People are being open and honest with you, so you can probably even trust your bank advisor. He will handle your cash carefully, not merely thinking of his own gain. If you're considering investing in something more tangible, don't hesitate to ask others for advice. If you decide against it, you will suffer no adverse consequences. In good shape, your mind and body are in perfect accord and you feel totally invigorated. You're able to take advantage of this feeling to stay on top of your fitness regime. You appreciate how quickly your athleticism is improved and you're much more aware of your strengths and how effective your stamina is. In the morning, the Cancer Moon opposes Mercury in Capricorn, hindering us from thinking clearly. We draw subjective conclusions based on feelings and memories of lived experiences. But then, the logical part of our brain chimes in, picking apart our own argument and rationalizing how we should be behaving. It can feel as though we're in a battle with our own minds, making it impossible for us to find equilibrium. Try to relax. Remember that life events don't have to be compartmentalized. Your response doesn't have to be either, or, one way or the other. Could there be a way to get these two seemingly contradictory attitudes to meet in the middle? Be sure to avoid making any big purchases or making a financial commitment unless they are absolutely necessary. If you have to then try to deal with them in a clear-headed and considered way that cannot backfire. You just can't find the right way to get the best out of your transactions. No matter what you do, your investments tend to make losses. Positive results can't be forced through, of course, so don't try to have your own way. It would be wrong to buy stuff to comfort yourself you might end up with empty pockets. After noon, the moon trines Neptune in Pisces, a harmonious influence. It appears that our sensitive side has tipped the scales, providing us with an extra dose of self-compassion. Embrace it. Life doesn't have to be so stoic and serious. There is hidden beauty all around us that we can tap into. Permitting our intuition to take the reins places us in touch with greater creative, imaginative, and spiritual potency. We recognize that problems do not have to be dissected. Mining them for signs can evince meaningful medicine.